Hello everyone, hope you all had a happy Easter, and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Now, today we're going to finally get our player to move, at least a little bit. He's going to move at least to what you guys would see as the right, and also, I'm moving to my left because that's your right. And also, he's going to be moving, hopefully, to his left today. Now, how are we going to do this? We're actually just going to be doing this very uh, simply by using this local script. Remember, this local script will catch all keyboard input that we need, including the WASD keys. We are going to be using WASD and not the arrow keys because those would involve a little bit more work and um, we're trying to get this done simply as long as you guys get the basic idea uh, you should be able to continue this and make it more of what you would like to see in a game so let's go to our 2d window um, and in our player let's just uh, actually to keep it a bit better let's insert it into the window uh, let's insert a script there uh, and let's name this script player script uh, that way we can better keep track of it and feel more organized uh, which by the way guys I might not organize my code too great in these tutorials but it is a great idea if you are planning on updating a game you've made later on so try and organize your code um, but back to the main topic of today um, let's just index a couple things here. Uh, player, actually no, player will be leading to our player. So yeah, uh, script, let's go over here to the explorer, or here, wherever you guys, up oh, there, that's where it is for me. Uh, so script dot parent dot parent dot parent, okay, let's count this. One parent, two parent, three parent, four parent to get to the player. So script dot parent that parent that parent that parent now we're going to make player and player and player okay plr plur plur that's plr plur is actually the player playing the game and player is the player uh we'll call it a sprite even though it's really just a blue block okay so player equals script that parent that player and I, let's just make two comments so you guys do not get confused the actual player playing the game and you know what let's move this down instead of being above it where it could get a bit more confusing we'll put it here uh, and actually press tab there boom Alright, now we can press tab a couple times. That way it's all lined up. The player sprite. There we go. Now, here's where things finally get fun. We repeat, wait, or actually, I found, thanks to some Roblox forming for a problem I was having on scripting, yes, the Scripters Helpers Forum is amazing. There's so many awesome people on there that really are there to help you out. Um, I learned a new function actually so we're going to do player wait for child and then we're just going to put in I believe it's called ready let's let's go in here oh no I'll add it that's what it's called uh, let's change that to all added and once that child is added we know they have their keyboard input ready to go and this is why we have the all added we're finally getting to using these keys like legitimately today so we're going to make function move right and function move left and this will be uh, very simple functions uh, the f function to move right will be player dot position equals player dot position plus let's go down here to the player here how big uh, the X should probably move point uh, u dim 2 dot new remember the u dim 2 dot new guys I, I forget it sometimes and just put 
the number I want them to move. That won't work. You will get an error. You dip to that new 0 .01, uh, and just to make it slightly more readable, we'll do add another zero, and then just a bunch of zeros after that. And we can copy and paste that down here, and just change it to a minus, so that it's actually subtracting that x value. And that will just make the player move. And now down here, connections. Uh, let's make this uh, functions. Let's just organize it a bit here. Connections, uh, and we'll name the or er, uh, sorry, player dot what what key would be moving right would be a player dot a dot change connect function. Oops, I can't type today. Move right end. Now we could just put move right and actually that's what we will do. No, actually we won't because we might have other stuff that needs to go on before it moves right that happens when they press A. So we won't do that. Uh, and then player dot D dot changed connect function move left end. And let's just line this up using some tab spacing. Just make it a little bit better looking here. Um, there we go. Now it's going to be a bit better. Alright. Now we can actually go in and press F6 and test our script. And he should move correctly. I didn't see any errors, but this is where scripting is really, really fun. It's the debugging stage that matters more than anything. So, let's move. Okay. Now there's a slight problem. One, I'm pressing A right now and he's going the way he's going. He should be going the other way. Uh, but other than that, everything is working almost perfectly. Uh, there is one thing I want to show you guys. But first, uh, okay, pressing A should move right, correct? No, actually that should be move left. Alright, uh, I'm backwards today. Alright, now it should be working. However, there's one more thing I want to do. It's just, right now it's just whenever A or D changes, he's moving. That means even if you release the key, he's going to move. We want to change that. We want to change it to be if player.a.value then move left. And what that will do, and we, got, <clears throat> and we have to end it again at another end. And what the extra player that a that value is going to do is it's just going to make sure that it's true because remember if you just put like it, it they're boolean values the keys just a quick refresher the v keys let's go up to our scripty script that's doing that we're making eight a, a, a boolean value for zero through nine and then a through z along with all added. <clears throat> And when we're done with that in this local script, whenever the keys are pressed, if they have a value, they're going to be true. If they're not, if they are released, they're going to become false. Okay? So the player in here, we want to make sure that the value equals true. And for these expressions, you don't have to put equals true if, it do, if you're checking to make sure it's true. You can just put that in. Roblox Lua will understand that you need it to be true. And we'll do about the same thing down here, only changing the key to correspond to the movement. Then, and let's change this up here. And there we go. And now when we press F6, there will be no glitches uh, that I can foresee anyway. And we will finally be able to move our player correctly. Now, I'm sorry the tutorial has been so long, guys, but I hope you've gotten a lot out of it, and I hope you're getting excited for this game. So now he's not moving when I release a key. He's just moving when I press a key, and he's moving the correct direction when I press a key. And that is all very good. So he is now working and there's a couple things I'd like to do, but we've gone over the time allotted for this tutorial already. So, 
Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.